Parents and Leander will soon have a new tool for their children's safety. Technicians are installing global positioning systems, or GPS, in Leander ISD school buses this week. KXA and investigator Kevin Schwaller looks tonight at how it works and found another district where the technology is also working. Kirk Young remembers a day when he wishes he could have known exactly where his daughter was. She called her dad about a problem on her bus. A few seconds into the conversation, she mentioned broken glass and that I needed to come get her right away. That's Kirk last year after officers arrested his daughter's bus driver for driving while intoxicated. We were all just bawling. Now the same district, Leander ISD, is installing GPS and plans to test an app to let parents track their child's bus. For safety and security, um, that's, a, that's a great enhancement for us. We'll know immediately where each bus in our fleet is. Austin ISD already has the live tracking in about 80% of its buses. The GPS is a little black box inside here that lets AISD track the buses in real time. The first good morning of the day, it starts with us. AISD's director of transportation, Chris Hafazizadeh, says the district started using the GPS systems in 2008. We are able to see where our you know, buses are every 30 seconds. It does help us. It does help. Uh, that aspect of it is huge for us. In emergencies, the district can rely on the precision of this box instead of being at the mercy of someone picking up the radio. Kevin Schwaller, KXAN, investigates. An assistant superintendent at Lee Leander ISD says the GPS is not in reaction to any one event. It is supposed to help with safety and efficiency. She says installation in the first year of GPS service will cost about $160,000. Then it should cost about $53,000 each year after that.